Hey you guys, it's Barb from Barberland Budgets. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. You guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do some savings challenges and I'm gonna show you that I'm back in debt. So it's a little bit of a debt confession. I'm not in a tremendous amount of debt, but I am in debt. So I need to focus on that and not focus so much on savings like I did last year. So let's just get started. Okay, you guys, I'm going to count this money. So today we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, and 28. So we have 128. I do not have the correct denominations. I just have money that was left over in my wallet and then money that was left over from my check and I had to take it out of the ATM. I did have some tens in my wallet though. So anyway, all right. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is debt. So um, in the beginning of last year, I became debt free, credit card debt free. I still have a truck loan and I still have my mortgage, but I became credit card debt free. So I do use my credit cards. I um, pay my bills and then I reimburse it, but I had to have some medical tests done and they cost more than, than the health, the health envelope that I had, which has like 50 or $60 in it. So I had to swipe my card and then I had to take my dog to the vet and I didn't have enough money in my pet envelope. And so I had to swipe my card and then I had more tests and it just accumulated to the point where I have, let me get my notebook. So I have $1,852.99 on one credit card and $618.47 on the other credit card. So the first one was my Discover card and I also have $2,048.47 that my mom owes because I had to charge her taxes last year. But I rolled all of that over to um, an 18 month interest-free credit card and so that's what I'm going to attempt to pay off. I have 18 months to do it. Well, I have like 17 now, maybe 16. So anyway, the total that I need to chart and pay off is, let me get my calculator. So it's 1852.99 plus 41847. So I need to pay off $2,471.46. And on this tracker, there's 100 gumballs. So we're gonna divide it by 100. And it's $24.71. So we're gonna make each one of the gumballs worth $25. So let me do that really quickly. So this is paying off credit card. Debt. So my total debt is $2,471.46 and each gumball is going to be worth $25. Okay, so there is my tracker and I'm going to put $25 in here today. So that's gonna be the first thing I do. So 10, 20, and 25. And you guys, I'm gonna attempt to, every time I get $100, put it towards debt. Even though I have 18 months, I don't wanna take 18 months to pay this off. I wanna pay it off as soon as I can. So yeah, I mean, I wanna get this paid off. I would like to before my son starts high school because I'm gonna have to start paying more in tuition, but We'll see how that works out. Okay, so this is gonna go into my most favorite binder because it's empty. <laughs> There's nothing in here. Uh-oh. All right, so I got my binder and I got a new envelope because these all had things that were gonna be in them. So let's see, let's put this in here and add the first 25 and what I need to do is find a gumball sticker or something that I could put on here so I know what this is. But you guys, I'm not gonna forget. 
I'm not going to forget. No, I'm not. Okay, so that is my first gumball um, colored in, and we are going to keep on moving and pay this off as fast as we can. Okay, also in this binder, I have challenges that I started and didn't finish, or challenges that I would like to start finishing. So let me move this because this is on the next page. So I want to start this 4200. I'm not lazy. I'm just enjoying saving money from Lisa Grateful Me. She gave this out when, as a freebie, when she hit 4,000 subscribers, and this is going to add up to $4,200. But I want to buy myself a 20-sided die and just roll one die every week, or or maybe roll it twice and just save each line whatever I roll. So that's my plan for this one. Then I have Piecing the Puzzle for $592. And this was a freebie and it came from Hands and Bands. And this is the envelope that goes with it. And I started it last year and I did this many and I didn't finish it. So I'm gonna work on finishing this one. So next up is Save, let's save 2023 and 2023. And I had every intention of finishing this challenge you know I did the ones that are yellow but what happened was this money went to medical bills also so I'm gonna start it over and we're just gonna add a dollar so we're gonna save 2023 plus one in 2023 plus one so we're gonna just add an extra dollar somewhere and that will it'll equal 2024 when it's finished so I'm hoping that I can finish this one so the sloth one, the one before, I don't, it doesn't have to be in one year. I don't really care how long it takes to get done. So I also was working on date night, all you need is love. I don't have a date right now, but I was saving $5 at a time because I was going to take my kids on a date. So I'm going to continue this. Um, I still have this money in the envelope and I'm just going to continue with it. Maybe I can finish it this year. All you need was love was from Lisa Grateful Me and so is Believe in Yourself. And I started this one and there's $25 saved and I never finished it. So when this is completed, it'll be $140. i am going to work on this one this year. Okay, and that's all I have in that, in that folder. But those are challenges that I started working on and I never finished them. And so I feel like I'm not a quitter. I need to finish them. So that is my plan. All right, so next up is going to be this binder and we're going to do save your age which came from gina renee are in budgets and i'm saving my son's age because he we're saving money for him to go on a trip to washington dc so you guys the trip is already paid for this is basically spending money or snacks or whatever else he needs anything we need to buy for the trip so yeah but we're just saving 14 dollars at a time i just trying to work on it a little faster because he's going in march and that's only a month and a half away all right, so we're gonna add 14. So we're gonna put five, 10, 15, and we're gonna put $1 back. So now, uh-oh, okay. So now in Save Your Age, we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, so 287. All right, next up is the Owl Savings Challenge. So this one is getting there. It's almost complete. Not quite yet. Um, Let's see what we got left. Okay, I'm gonna put $25. That's what I've been doing because I'm trying to finish this. I really would have liked to finish this last year, but it just didn't happen and that's okay. So. You know how I mentioned that I would like a 20-sided die? If I don't get one, I'll just have Siri pick a number for me. And then I'll just um, take a screenshot of it and we'll use that. I'll just insert it into the video. Because I would like to start it next time we do savings challenges. Okay, so now we're going to add 25. And these are also from Lisa Grateful Me. I finished the $5 ones, and now we're working on the 10s and 15s. All 
All right, so in the Owl Challenge, we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 83, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, and 60. So 360. Okay, We Are the Stars is from Salisa at Beautifully Me and You. I roll one dice every week. Well, every time I stuff, it's not every week. To determine how much money we're going to put in here. And we are saving these this money for end of year gifts for my son's teachers. Also though, there's going to be Catholic school week. So I might have to bump this up a little bit so we can save a little bit for Catholic school week. All right, so I'm going to take the brown die and we're going to roll it. And we got a two. All right, I'm going to roll again. And a three. So we're going to put $5 in this All right, so we'll put five and then let's count and see what we have. So we have five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. All right, you guys, next up is roll the dice. Let me move my calculator out of the way. Roll the dice is deceiving me. It is not allowing me to get these two fours so we'll see how it goes this time. So last time we rolled a five and a two for seven. So we'll add the seven in. Okay, let's see. So basically I have already finished um, the fives and the twos. I'm just trying to get fours, but whatever I roll is what I'm stuffing for the week. So I'm really hoping that I can get a four or two fours. That would be very nice. So right now in the roll the dice game, we have 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So we have 221, which is pretty good. Now, let me roll. I'm going to move these out of the way. I got out my brown dice, hoping that these are not the same dice I usually roll. <laughs> we got the same thing as last week, so we'll just put it here. So the next time we stuff, we'll owe seven more dollars. <laughs> no fours. All right, you guys, next up we have the $1 savings challenge and the $5 savings challenge. I'm going to start these again. These challenges are from Davina C on Etsy. I'm not sure that she still has an Etsy shop or I'm not sure if she has a YouTube channel. I looked for her and I wasn't able to find her. So, okay. So in the $1 savings challenge, we have one and two. So we're going to start it off with $2. So we will cross off two. And we'll add those here. And then let's see what we got. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, and we got $50. So let's start it off with two fives. And we'll start it with $10 and we'll mark off two fives here. All right, so that will be the end of this challenge book. I should have said binder, but that's okay. All right, so let's see. We are gonna start Save 250 again. So you guys, this was my very first savings challenge book. I bought this back in 2022 when I first started um, cash stuffing and it has a special place in my heart. So I want to put a little bit in here because, you know, it means a lot to me. So we have, 30, we have $40 left. So let's start it with 10. All right, let's mark this 10 off right here. And we will start this with $10. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it. Most likely I'm gonna put it to my emergency fund because that's what I did with it the last two times but I'm not 100% positive yet. So that will be it for the savings challenge. 
Okay, you guys, next up is my bee books. So this is my tracker and we have already accumulated that many. I don't know how many it is, but now we have, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to finish this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yay! So I can finish this. I will color it in off camera. There's no need for you to watch me color in all these bee books, but you know what I'm going to do with these bee books, you guys? They're going to go to debt. So I will get a new tracker and we'll start it off with these $2. All right. So let me get the tracker. All right, you guys. So I can color in another 25. Whoop, whoop. That's exciting. I already got $50 towards my first hundred. And like I said, at a hundred, I want to make a deposit. Okay, so we're gonna put that in here. And now we have 50, I'm not gonna count it again. You guys saw that I put 25 and I'm putting this 25, which I will take to the bank in exchange. I'll just probably deposit it. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so there's 50 there. Okay, you guys, so we have 10, 20, 25, and 30 left. So we're gonna color that 30 right there. We'll color it orange so that way you can tell the difference. And we've got a good start here. I feel like this video was all over the place, you guys. I don't know. I'm usually a little more, see, I was winging it and I don't really like winging it. I like being structured and knowing what I'm gonna do. So maybe in the future, I'll just keep it structured. All right, so we are gonna start this with $30 and I will put that in my big A5 binder as soon as I'm done making this video. So you guys, that's it. I stuffed $127. I'm very happy I got to put a little bit of something in most of the challenges and I have all these new challenge or all these old challenges that I hope that I can complete soon. So anyway, if you made it this far, I appreciate you very much. I will see you soon and I hope you guys have a wonderful blessed week. Please remember always that Jesus loves you and I love you guys and I'll talk to you later guys. Bye.